Welcome to ITTV Global Media, the voice of software engineers. And today we have a giant from Quality Thought. And let's not forget, he's definitely our great Khaja Ibrahim. And we'll be asking some crucial questions to him to know what his life policy and philosophy is and how he became what he is right now. So let's get to our Khaja Ibrahim. How are you, sir? Doing good, sir. Great. By the way, uh, Khaja means helper in yeah. Persian. Yes. And Ibrahim is somebody who actually made the foundation of uh, Mecca. So how these two words became Khaja Ibrahim? Actually, I didn't know that I had that much of meaning. <laughs> yeah, right. So the basic uh, thing is, uh, when I was in schooling, sir, uh, my father used to help me out and uh, or he used to wake me up in the morning at four o'clock. Yeah, whereas my friend's uh, uh, fathers were basically making them sleep till six o'clock. I used to scold him. Uh, but the reality was, uh, uh, he used to uh, make me understand the example problems in your mathematics book okay. and then ask me to solve the exercise problems. Wow. That is different from what happens in school. <laughs> so I think I am what I am today because of that activity. And uh, that is exact skill uh, where you can learn, you can apply by looking at the samples or that, that is what I am applying today. Wow. And whatever you have asked and uh, in whatever way I am useful to my students. All of that uh, credit goes to that small activity. <laughs> so it is not a very difficult activity. Everyone can practice that. So probably that helped me a lot. So that helped me in self-learning. That helped me in uh, uh, basically doing the things in whatever way which I do. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm quite sure you know because uh, you also seem to be, yeah, you seem to be younger than me, but uh, <laughs> probably, but uh, we didn't have this much of uh, information when we were young. Okay. But for the kids now, uh, you have a hell lot of information. True, right. sir. I totally agree. Yes. And I think if Khaja Ibrahim came from your father. So are you trying to say that your father mm -hmm. happened to think of this name and there you got Khaja Ibrahim? Uh, uh, actually, the story is quite uh, interesting, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, my grandfather's name is Ibrahim. Oh. Yeah. So okay. that's where I got Ibrahim. And the reason why I got the name of Khaja was uh, when I was uh, about to be born, my grandmother was in the hospital and it, all, it was all girls. Oh. Baby girls who were uh, <laughs> being born. So she has Manat Mangliya tha, Ajmer Darga se. Ajmer. So this is Khwaja ka naam lag gaya aur Ibrahim to mere dada ka naam. I am, I'm so mesmerized <laughs> by this story. Yeah. And sir, I think you are, you're very much into this, you know, DevOps. Right. Where there's a lot of planning and deploying yes. and you know, there's this infinity. Yes. Are you like a walking, talking DevOps? Uh, I'll put it in different ways, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, right now we use DevOps. Okay. I have worked in the areas where we were trying to create something like DevOps, okay. where we didn't have this much of DevOps exploration. So oh. we wanted to deploy the things quickly. Okay. Right. So uh, let me try to tell you a very simple example. There are lots of apps for booking movie tickets. True. But most of us use Book My Show. Yes. Right. So uh, the reason for that is that was the first uh, uh, app that has helped us in uh, mm -hmm. booking movie tickets. Okay. Same story goes and fits well with Redbus. So uh, now do you agree that the people who are doing that, they should be paid well? Honestly, I feel no. <laughs> the, the reason is basically the people who are making your application deploy faster, gives you a business advantage. Oh, okay, that way, yes, sir. yes. that's true. That's right. True. And uh, if for any business, if you are giving a business advantage, mm -hmm. they should be paid well, right? Agreed, agreed. In that way, yes. That is a job description of DevOps engineer. You are supposed to deliver the things faster to the faster. market so that you get some advantage. And uh, even in your mobile phones, uh, you would prefer uh, frequent updates rather than one major update in your Android or iPhone operating system, which actually changes the behavior. Oh. So that is what we do. We do. But I think so, you know, <laughs> as I said, okay, uh, Khaja Ibrahim is actually a walking, talking DevOps. Right. Because that's how you have been updated yourself yes. and you have deployed. And we are sitting right now in... Uh, a studio which is definitely your brainchild yeah. and the brainchild of uh, Ramna sir and I've yeah. seen you I think the first glimpse of you was okay when you were standing in front of 500 students okay. and you were teaching something yeah. I think it was DevOps yes and I love that connect you have with your students will you just yeah. give a small uh, I mean a uh, view to the teachers IT teachers mm -hmm. how to approach DevOps just just a view uh, the first thing is, sir, uh, first, I, I would uh, rather go with not only DevOps, I would, uh, the way or the reason why students get connected to me is my approach towards learning. Okay. Generally, uh, you can't avoid failures. 
true man right true. so uh, face the failures and face them fast that is what i do <laughs> so so when you fail fail fast because you have time to recovery right That's so, and and that is one of the devops principle basically okay yes and all of this started since you come from a little bit of background on on, on philosophy and and literature i am quite sure that you might have heard a term called as kaizen Yes, yes. Yeah, you can't take lot of changes at one shot. It is better that you take gradual changes gradual once change. in it. This uh, has led to something which we are calling as agile, Scrum, safe, and all of that stuff. All of that was basically from agile, Kaizen, which was adopted by Toyota, and that is what you are using in agile for making agile possible. You have to give frequent changes, changes. and smaller changes to your uh, customers. Okay. That is what DevOps does. That's and when you do, deep. you get hell lot of failures, and <laughs> you should be. Th- that's what your job description is. Right. Don't fear the failures. Face them. Face them. Is yes. what you're trying to say. So, who is your role model? If I have to ask, there are many, sir. Um, but uh, the way I look at it, it depends. It changes from uh, situation to situation. For example, if I have to name a few, you have a person uh, whose name is Linus Torvalds. Uh, yeah, he might not be a very rich person, mm-hmm. but uh, whatever you are seeing, whatever you are using today, uh, it is all because of the kernel which he has written. as i said there are many many people on that line so for example uh, if i have to name uh, one more uh, person mm-hmm. or, or i'll call it as not as a person but as a company okay uh, which was amazon amazon uh, right they were selling books mm-hmm. uh, they thought that they want to go global and then they started uh, building that as a business model that business model is what we call as cloud today cloud oh right so uh, for example if i have to uh, basically ask you a simple question 5 uh, to 6 years ago mm-hmm. when you had to carry any data you st- you, you should have a pen drive with you true true sir now i'm quite sure you're not doing that <laughs> for sure yes. that is what cloud does cloud does yes so that was one small idea so uh, there are loads and loads of examples like this so uh, you can uh, speak about bill gates mm-hmm. right so to build something visual easy and uh, there are loads of examples but there is not even one single inspiration uh, for all the one inspiration will not fit in all the fit cases in. I, i i i somewhere feel that khaja ibrahim is is actually the nebula which mm. broke and there are a lot of you know stars we have right now yes. and i've seen i've heard about you from many of the students from amir pet Is, is that just Amir Pet, or have you also taught at the at other places to the locations? Um, too? Places I have not taught, but mm-hmm. fortunately, due to uh, this internet and the kind of uh, tools which you have, mm-hmm. I have students who are uh, native American citizens. I have students who have oh, who wow. you are you are from Africa. There were a couple of students who were uh, basically from Middle East. We generally don't find people uh, from Middle East trying to learn, but mm-hmm. there were some of them. So the whole point is uh, since. internet has made it uh, a global village basically the content what you deliver and uh, that matters so that i matters. think that was that was what has helped me and i think you have like multiple layers to everything whatever you have said like right. right now as if i have spoken to you i can see you have that philosophical layer yeah. there you know you go in the information yeah. just want to ask you is this what you are even at home um actually i'm i'm not <laughs> i'm not that complicated <laughs> okay. uh, but the way i think uh, is it is always a easier way out uh, basically i used to have simple questions uh, of the thing so for example lot of us do engineering so my question was what who is an engineer actually basically you have a mestri in your ta- town who is also building home and uh, there is also an engineer why don't you call that mestri an engineer <laughs> so that was my uh, question so these kind of questions has helped me probably that's that, i think questioning is the first right. step okay of getting into right. philosophy and then but self retrospection like i like that example of right. you know a mason and you know an engineer because yes. both are almost doing the same work same. uh last question before we end it uh if you have to tell our viewers okay the ones who is this the is the first video definitely of yours right. uh, kaja sir if i have to say that 2022 is mm. you know is actually a starting point of us and not starting mm. point of a lot of things mm. by what day do you think we'll be able to cross our marks and be great and what ingredients a student and a teacher require in it because mm. you're the right person to say this because yeah. it's not just t- students who need adding mm. i think even teacher requires a little bit of adding okay in their personality right. in their education what do you think you'd be able to so let me try to tell you what my retirement plan is i want oh. to i want to become a farmer sir that is what i want to become uh, so this might be surprise yeah yeah i've okay. started doing mango farming and uh, i don't have any plan of uh, uh, basically continuing my career in it probably after 15 years so if with that as my retirement plan uh, i upgrade myself at least 4 hours a day so for the people <laughs> who are working in it 
now you can imagine what they have to go through see because this is something which the only thing that is constant is change you can't uh, resist the change so there is one book one wonderful book which is called as who moved my cheese i'm quite sure you might have known yes, about I've read it yeah very small and very decent story yes right so that works out very well for us man this is a revolution i mean <laughs> it professor trying to go for mango farming yes oh. Looks like we have to end the show here. Yes. Thank you sir. Thank you for your time. Yeah, it was it nice was, having a conversation good, with you. Thank you sir. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you.